What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, what a spawn for North America. We take that. Let's make sure that the South America player is cool. No, they slam a three right away. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So my future hinges on the South America player not being a dick. Lebanese fellow. Black is a bot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I find myself in a single position very quickly. Trying to go for North America here when the South America ha South America player has it turn one is actually kind of dodgy. So what's going to happen is black's going to be here in Asia. White's going to be here in Australia. Purple is here. I don't trust them. Yellow is going to be here. What does red do? I don't know that I can take North America here safely. See if he's down to play nice. We'll learn. We'll learn based on what purple does. Hopefully we have sets early too. All right, so red is in Asia, yellow is in Africa. White's going to take Australia here. Really good spawn for white. Hmm. Okay. We do start with the bot. We're playing Classic Fix. I'll show you guys the settings. World Domination on Classic Auto 90. Expert Automated Bot. Ooh, I fucked that up. The bot should have been e easy. Fix cards. Alliances are on. Fog blues and pearls are off. Okay, purple is taking cards exterior. But they don't give me the easy Mexico. Bot moves into North America? No. Bot stays in Europe. Bots taking Asia. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I really don't like my options here. Trying to signal to purple that I want to hit that. You get it? I'm not going to hit it soon, but I do need to hit it. He gets it. I wonder. I wonder what we're going to do about that. Hey, red slams a two. Maybe purple just fully greeds out and goes for Asia or uh, for Europe here.
And we're going to hope to get cards soon. Looks like yellow actually takes Africa. He has 300% rolls here. 7v3, 6v2, and 4v1. But is he going to be able to guard against the bot? I don't think red's fucked yet. Let's see what purple does. I kind of want to remind him that I have to hit that three. Piero Chousset. Hello, Pete from France. One question. Why do you turn off the option to see the one card territory? I think it's ugly. I think it's ugly and it takes up space visually. I don't like... I think it, that that's too large for me. I find it kind of distracting. So, so the, the, the reason I turn it off is, is completely aesthetic. Purple now going for Europe. Yeah, okay. Purple's a greedman. Does he back the three off? He does. Fuck yeah, man. Okay, that's awesome. Now I'm in a way better situation. Now I'm in a way better situation. The bot hits a three. Ooh. Ooh, red's in big trouble. Yeah, I specifically don't break or threaten the South America. Hey, Red has a single 13 second age already. Not about not trusting him. I mean, obviously, I'm not trying to fully trust anybody, but I'm going to play my seat. So if he backs troops off, I back troops off, and then we don't need to be aggressive. This man wants to take Europe. We're going to spend our three in NA. Yeah, this gives Red an opportunity to spend their three in NA. Do we have cards on three? We do have a... Okay, we do have a 10 set on three. That's good. That's good. What's up, Jason? Hello, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I hope everyone's doing well. This is uh, American Thanksgiving. Black's actually looking decently weak. If I was lined up to kill them. Maybe they don't have a set on three. Finally caught a live stream. Love watching. What's up, disguised beer? How you doing? I'm going to lose my two. Yeah, purple's very greedy. Having a good Thanksgiving? Well, I'm a, uh, I'm a Canadian, so we've already done ours. Okay, so I lost my access to black. Down to 21. It's a good thing I have a set on. Lot's going to sit on four cards. Who kills them on four cards? If red has a trade, they do. I just take an A? Let's see. I'm going to try. I'm going to line myself up to not threaten purple. If purple breaks, then I have to go to war. Um, but like not threatening purple here is ideal. We'll just block in Kamchatka. Block the Alaska Kamchatka line. And if the bot doesn't set, I might have a kill on five cards. You do predictions. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Red is in big trouble in the center of the board. They don't have a set. Oh. Take Afghanistan here? No, they sit in. Oh, man. Purple might get that red kill. Let's see how it goes. Both the black and the red kills are on the table here.
Yellow could also take it here. They could double tap the 13 or triple tap it incidentally. If red doesn't have a set on four, he's toast. Are you thinking the other people are good or do you think they're bad? Well, generally people are bad, right? Generally the, the safest rule for your opponents is to assume that they're not very good, but every once in a while you run into somebody good. Does white take red here? No. Red's looking real fishy. 14 for four. Okay, purple sets. Kills red. Yep. Oh boy. All right. They could chain probably chain that into the black hill too. We lose red. Unfortunate. Oh, and he gets a dude's trade. He guards SA a little bit. Does he greed out for Europe? Not yet. Okay. Purple takes the red kill. Does black set. Black's going to sit on five cards. I think I can kill black for five. Rolls a 5v4. What? That makes it easier. Yeah. This is worth. This kill is worth. Got a slider to make sure we don't lose any additional troops. Yeah, so far we're getting good rolls. Happy with that bot kill. Now a true four player game. Let's stay good with purple ideally. I'm gonna lose a lot in Asia, but that's okay. See if uh, yellow and or white want to ally me. I'm doing a two point NA guard while purple takes Europe. <laughs> you think purple and yellow seem fishy? I don't know about that. Generally speaking, hello, Pete. I started watching on YouTube after the YouTube's collaboration. Sponsored by Champion. Now I'm a Twitch noob. Welcome to Twitch. Generally, hello. Do I watch any sports? No. Nope. Not my thing. Yeah, that kill for purple was quite weak because I got a dude's trade. I'm the same amount as yellow, but I have a better bonus and I have two more cards. White sets gets the 10. I don't think they break my NA here, but they might. Make an easy card. Cool. Yeah, I think purple greeds here. Purple greeds out on the, uh, the Europe. I can't really fuck with them because if I do... They backdoor me from South America. Uh. I don't like this positioning. And I don't like not having a set. Yeah, I didn't break. I didn't break. There's no real upside for me to break. Yellow might. Yellow kind of has a better incentive than me.
Yeah, yellow breaks. Good. Good, good, good. I think I'm in first place now. Is he thinking about skipping? Hey, thank you, Oberyn, with the Prime. Thank you so much. Pete, how should I improve in risk? Like, what should I try to target? Uh, what do you, uh, what do you play? Pete's sure is promoting my favorite band, Jute. It's a good band, eh? Everyone's like, what is Jute? I'll spoil the surprise for you folks. What is Jute? All right, we're back. <laughs> we'll do the, we'll do the rest like this. <laughs> How do I avoid being targeted all the time? I try to do as you show me. I don't overtack. Try to move my troops in a single stack and everyone smash it to me, even if I show trust. Yeah, man. Well, if you're playing classic fixed, it's all about negotiating with your opponent. It's all about putting yourself in the right position. Purple sets here. Long term, this is good for me. Yeah, I do we see a break? No, does the same thing. Okay. Ah, dude's trade lame. Lame. Hate that. I keep a mostly buried stack. Just let it build up a bit, trying to not not offend anyone in this board. In this situation, would have been wiser for Yellow to claim South America to equalize bonus gains, leave Europe intact. I think Yellow is in a bit of a spot um, because if they break South America or they steal South America, uh, Purple might see that as aggressive. But I don't hate the play for Yellow to just take South America and everyone's getting plus five, and then we choke out white. I don't know, man. I think Yellow is in a bit of a tricky situation, right? Every time he breaks Europe, he opens the 26. Which he does again. So this is really good for me, right? This is going to make purple hate yellow. Pete, I was worried about you. Where were you all week? So what did I do Monday? He leaves a three in. I mean, purple's going to smack that. What did I do Monday? I actually can't remember anymore. I went to Tool on Monday. Um, no, I've just been doing a lot of uh, off-air type stuff, recording shows rather than streaming. And I want to stream every day, but sometimes uh, not in the mood. And if I'm if I'm never not in the mood, I just don't go live because I think making the highest possible quality show for you guys is important. Um, I think you guys deserve it. So. One of the one of the big sort of guiding guideposts for this work is if I'm not having fun, I'm losing the game and I'm making a shitty show. So I really check my vibe and I'm like, if I'm not feeling it. I don't want this to feel like work. I really want to make a, a really fun show for all you guys. Um, so that's the thinking, right? How do I make it? the most fun it can be. We, we see another break. I don't think we let purple get plus seven. Yellow continues to to smack him. Great. Yeah, perfect. That's good. Evening. What's up, Lemlin? Sorry, question from Aditya Sarika. How do you see other player stats during game? The game doesn't let me. You can't see player stats in ranked. You can only see player stats in unranked or play with friends. We used to be able to see stats in ranked. Now we cannot. What's up, Swankier Spoon19? Hey, Pete. Been watching for about three months on YouTube. 
for Stream Caught You Live. Love your deep talks about beliefs, psychology, and life. Is there any material you recommend to be more insightful person in these areas? Um, what are you interested in? Right? What subjects tickle you? I used to read Wikipedia for fun, right? So I have a really good memory. People are often impressed, like, hey, Pete, you're so good at Jeopardy. I was like, how? Well, I learn best when I'm interested in a subject. So I had a really tough time in school because they tried to force this knowledge upon you. Whereas for me, my, my learning style is more, um, am I interested? I'm going to naturally learn about it. So that's how I would go swank your spoon. If it, what would I recommend? Learn about what you're interested in learning about and then follow that path, right? If you're interested in philosophy, what philosophers are you interested by? And same with psychology. And we got a 41 stack. Are we going to finally break Africa? Has yellow had enough? Pete, having had such a background with lawns, do you have any strong views on lawns? Personally, I love when lawns are flat. I think small front lawns are silly and big backyards are better. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I think they're, they're very wasteful lawns. I think there is a, uh, there's a lot to be said about having all of this really, really productive farmland um, paved over and used for decorative purposes, right? Like, the idea that we're not growing enough food or we're not distributing enough food so that every single person in the world has enough to eat is silly, right? And the idea that we ruin our most productive farmland by paving it over for cities is silly. All right. He finally doesn't break because now he's being threatened. Or do we still see the break? I think if we're yellow, we still break. Ooh, he doesn't. Okay. Yellow's trying to negotiate. He's splitting to guard Africa, but he's going to let Europe hold. I'm going to ask white if he wants to attack purple. Does he guard out? <laughs> All right, purple holds the plus seven here. Interesting. I think I still chill. I have a big sort of inactive stack. I'm just kind of staying out of trouble, right? You know, long that lasts.
All right, we're now letting Purple hold Europe. So I think Purple will have animosity against Yellow. But my lead is diminishing. I can let it diminish for a while. But this is a scary board to be in. One way to counteract it is to insist on 15 territories. Let's see how that, that goes. Insisting on 15 territories gets me five plus, uh, plus five. So I get 10 a turn. Yeah, we get the break. Perfect. This is good. We're in a good spot. Thank you, Rufeo with the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Aklam Sarah. Hey, Pete, I'm very curious about your thought on changing up the current government structure and taking mass population votes via people phones. Why do you prefer this to other options, such as experts going over topics and determining the best course of action? Sounds like too many voices to have an educated opinion on things. Sure. So if you are interested in democracy, simple, simply put, if you're interested in democracy as, a, um, as an aim, then you would want an experiment that would prove definitively whether or not um, democracy is a noble goal. What you're talking about is kind of like a technocracy or a... Um, I don't know what the term is, uh, an expertocracy, right? Government run by experts, which also is a very cool idea and probably should be tried. Um, how would you, um, how would you go about selecting those experts on merit? I don't know, right? What, what mechanism would you, yeah, philosopher kings like Plato. Yeah, listen, uh, I think that I don't pretend to tell any of you guys that I have an answer here. I don't pretend that I know um, what the right model looks like. Not not remotely, okay? I, I think we need to test this out and figure out how we are better governed. Um, and I think we owe it to ourselves to do so. I think we owe it to ourselves to discuss possible changes to the system. Um, the one I suggested, oh, <laughs> the one I suggested models, um, he breaks me too, right? The one I, I suggested models democracy to its antithesis, or uh, not to its antithesis, to its, to its nth degree. Um, I think I let the stack out. Nah, you know what? I let him move his stack out on his own. Yellow's not my ally. Yeah. Let's attack yellow. I'm wondering what purple does here. So, yeah, simply put, I, I don't have a... um. I don't have a dog in this fight in the sense that I'm going to sit here and presume to tell you what is the right answer. What I'm suggesting is that we owe it to ourselves and um, to our future, you know, we owe it to ourselves and to our children um, to design a system that... Nice. We owe it to ourselves and to our children to design a system. This is better. No, because then he cuts up through the middle. Um, that is iterative, right? One that retains the option for self-improvement. The current system we have is, for lack of a better word, a kleptocracy, right? We are being robbed by rich people, okay? We don't have a democracy, we have an oligarchic kleptocracy. And we should honestly talk about what that is and 
how we can get back to something that you would choose, right? You wouldn't choose this. If you were born, if you could choose to be born into a system, you wouldn't choose to be born into a system where almost everyone um, is being stolen from. Does he get to my 16? He opens the 60, which is super dumb. Because purple's going to fucking kill you. Yeah. I'll throw purple a heart. Gorsamith is using the uh, uh, Winston Churchill quote. Democracy is a terrible system of government. It also happens to be better than everything else we've tried, which is true. The the nested sub-proposition in there that um, is that that I would question is, does that mean we should stop trying? Also, thank you, Mr. Baggins, for the uh, the tier one sub there. Um, seeing as how we're answering questions, how about I do a Q and A question? What is next on the list? My next Q&A question comes from Tafra. Hey, Pete, I love your content, and it's quickly becoming a part of my daily ritual. Please keep it up, bro. Hit him. You're a pussy if you don't hit him. Huh. All right. Not hitting yellow, I think, is a miss. I'm going to keep picking on you. Uh, first, I love the content quickly becoming part of my daily ritual. Please keep it up. Sure will. My question, what are your thoughts on animal testing? With the recent revelation that Elon Musk company Neuralink has been testing on monkeys, which Musk had previously claimed none were killed, but the reality seems to be very different. Obviously, the health benefits to humanity are incalculable, but does the means justify the ends? You mean, do the ends justify the means? Does the fact that this research is likely to be very lucrative means we can reconsider our moral, moral position? All right. Three questions. What are my thoughts on animal testing? Do the ends justify the means? And does the fact that the research is likely to be lucrative mean we should reconsider our moral position? So final question is if your, if your moral weighting should be changed by the fact that something is profitable. My answer to that is obviously not, right? Um, market incentives do not necessarily match human incentives. So, so basing your ethics from a business ethics, the essential principle of business ethics is that a business is ethical if it is uh, generating profit for its shareholders and or stakeholders, okay? Um, in this regard, right, uh, healthcare being run for profit is a very significant perverse incentive. Um, what does purple do? He breaks. And then? <sighs> Doesn't actually hit. Just breaks. We don't actually have a set. I'm going to let the war continue. Second, uh, second part of the question. Um, do the ends justify the means? I think to an extent, but not really. So uh, a better example in this regard would be something like um, Joseph Mengele, right? The Nazi doctor. Did he learn a lot about human anatomy and improving medical technology and medical science from um, non-consensual experiments against prisoners of war, um, those being sent to death camps and such. Yes, of course he did. Can we argue that that is ethical? No, right? That is, you, you can't really take human agency off the table and suggest that that is righteous. So... 
we need to be very careful with the concept of animal testing. We need to be very careful with the execution of it. Um, we need to be very considerate of the fact that these animals could be suffering, right? It's, it's extremely important to use the resources. And if we're going to think about animals as resources, um, we, that they suffer the, the minimum possible amount, first of all. If we're going to be um, subjecting animals to what is essentially torture and death, um, the ethical valence of that decision weighs heavily. We do get the dude's trade. So I think, I think it is, uh, it would be very wise to consider our actions carefully in that regard. But as far as what is ethical and what is unethical, I don't presume to tell you. I don't presume to know. And I'm glad I don't have to be solving these problems because if, if let's say I was a person who was paraplegic or uh, blind, right? I would probably be willing to go very far into animal testing. These are the these are the promises of Neuralink, right? Like rewiring your spine or rewiring your optic nerve such that um you know, the blind could see again. This is not fiction anymore. This is very very much within the realm of possibility. Um how much suffering is worth it? How do we quantify suffering? These are important ethical questions, and I don't really have an answer for you, Tefra, but that's that's how I would choose to address it. I would say um, smarter people, wiser people than I have to make these calls, and I'm very glad that I don't because I don't really kill, I don't really relish the idea, and I know I kill by proxy, right? I kill by spending money in a system that is fundamentally exploitative. I'm not oblivious to this. Yeah, I mean, I just win this game if it keeps going like that. But it was a really good question, and there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people try to apply an objective morality, right? They, apply, they try to apply a, a universal ethic where... Let me see a break. Okay, are we gonna smack the 82? We're we gonna smack my 30. I think we might smack the Pete 30. And Schmaka? No. <laughs> Yellow and purple are an intractable war. I just need to leave all my lines open. Yeah, so purple sues into that now. I think purple just kills you, yellow, on five cards. Hey, <laughs> throws me a thumbs down. You want, oh, you want me to attack yellow for you? Got it. Yeah, purple sues me if I don't. Let's see how it goes. Hey, Pete, finally caught, up, caught your stream. From, from Portugal, I follow your YouTube videos. You are the reason I came back to the game and getting better at it. Good work doing all of this one love. One love to you too, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Jocko Johnny, for the subs. Appreciate it. All right. So... Because I'm so far ahead, I can equalize. <laughs> Where do we put our troops? Northwest Territory is fine. Oh, 
Also, tell him to attack me. I want, so I want to deadliest trap white. Let's see if purple gets it. When trying to rank up, do you raise the minimum requirement when you create games? For, for player skill, I like to play open lobbies. But I'm not trying to rank up anymore. I got nothing much to prove. All right, let's see if purple's down to work with me. Oh, yeah. You gonna break me? Let's see if white knows how to get out of the problem. You see 10v10? Also, breaking the alliance, super dumb. Yeah, super dumb. Not recommended. Right? What a tell. And he doesn't even open his stack. Come on, purple. You saw me be cool with you. Good. This is good. We deadliest trapped this fucking guy now. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Take it all. <laughs> he isn't guarding the deadliest trap properly, though. Leaving eights. Ooh, I like... Th okay. Hmm. Okay, he did it. But he doesn't have the two point. What? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> All right, different plan, folks. Different plan. Australia player gets, gets first. Okay. Really? Really? All right, well, too bad. Too bad for Perpy Boy. You're dumb. You're really dumb. Some people just don't understand how to negotiate. <laughs> All he had to do was not hit my South America and we would have choked out white. Instead, you get third. You were dumb. You were so dumb. Okay. Um, but I get second. Too bad, man. Like, board's pretty much equal. Fuck. You guys are curious how to use the slider? Just hit the exclamation mark slider command and it'll explain sort of what the uh, the issues are. Because I've, I've now spoken about it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So that's why I put the slider command in the show. I, I fucking killed purple for him. Or rather, I killed, I killed yellow for him and it wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? Dude. Dude. Uh, Un-fucking believable, right? Unfucking believable! I kill, per I kill fucking yellow for this guy, and it's still not good enough. All right, so it's ninety-one to one fourteen. He he pretty much has a guaranteed win here, and I don't have a trade on four. Too bad. I get second. Yeah, there was no there. Purple not understanding, and I knew Purple wasn't going to understand because he played his seat very poorly. He was basically, like, threatening to suicide into me if I didn't deal with yellow. So I did, hoping to establish a, a good alliance, right? Hoping to establish the, the four bonus. I get the Americas, he gets the center column, Europe, Africa. And then we have the three-point deadliest trap, which we've gone over a ton, right? 
But instead of that, purple allowed me to just kill him. So I get a guaranteed second. Too bad. Some people die. Some people. T Dog would like to know Have you ever pined on the right to be forgotten? No. Tell me about the right to be forgotten. Also, not having a set here means I can't even counterattack. All right, so we'll probably stay GM. We'll get a second place finish. We do have a set. It's a dude's trade. Eh. All right. And my Alaska's locked, right? Do I get to Australia? Yes, I do. Okay, so we break both the bonuses, but it's really too little too late here. 23. It's too little too late for me. Don't think there's much hope. Yeah, so can somebody explain what the right to be forgotten is? Hey, Pete, well played. I think you underestimated how poorly purple plays. I mean, but that's okay. So that's, I mean, I saw him playing purpley the whole time. Uh, I saw him playing purpley. I saw him playing purpley the whole time, which is why I chose to kill him when I did, right? Because if he's strong and he's not a homie, then I can't just kill him. So he's not a homie, so I killed him. Right? How, what would you what would you have done differently? Right? Go into a three player scenario and risk third. <laughs> How am I doing, GM? I play on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I'm I'm still alive. I uh I haven't lost yet. All right. Long question from Pooba. Hey Pete, on the opinion of health insurance and medical care in general, do you think it would be a good idea for health insurance to be banned, phased out, and replaced with mass creation of HSAs? Health savings account. No, I think health insurance should not be a thing um, because, first of all, I think insurance companies should be national. I think the banks and the insurance companies should be nationalized, right? I think the idea that um, the primary VIG off inflation it goes into the hands of private businesses um, is just the largest financial parasite you can imagine, right? So all insurance companies should be um, for the benefit of the, there should be no VIG on insurance, right? Insurance shouldn't be run for profit. Insurance should exist to redistribute 100% of the revenue it brings in minus the cost of administration. There should be no profit in insurance. The same thing with, with the banking, right? Banking should exist to facilitate exchange between people. That's what money is, right? As opposed to um, being run for profit, which just parasitizes the system. Okay, so given that, um, I don't know how many of you guys watch Michael Moore's Sicko, but you might be aware that Americans, which have a for-profit healthcare system, spend more per capita on their healthcare system than, say, Canadians. Now, our healthcare system sucks, don't get me wrong, but um, go, spending more and also risking going broke because of something that inevitably might happen to you, you will get old, you will get sick, right? That's... <laughs> That is cruel. That is systemically cruel from my perspective. So obviously having a for-profit healthcare system is a perverse incentive. So I, I, I think your question, Puba, comes from an American perspective. And no, we shouldn't have to have savings accounts to deal with the inevitability that we might get sick and die. That's literally one of the, one of the few things I think the state would be good at, right? Is ensuring that its citizenry is cared for and the inevitable is addressed. We all get old. We all get sick and die, right? I think healthcare should be free and open to all. Correct. PAC, PAC 27, 2077 said it a lot better than me. Healthcare should be free to all, right? And how do you pay for that? You stop for profit insurance, you stop for profit banking, and you, instead of taxation, you use the revenue. Um, from inflation, from money creation to 
fund it anyways. Um, again, what do I know? I'm just an idiot playing video games on the internet, uh, defeating two novices and a beginner, losing to a beginner. Uh, yeah, general patent, no surprise to anyone, uh, was a novice. I think people are confused when I talk about my prediction and mispredicting my opponents. It was very obvious that purple was terrible, right? You saw that, I saw that. It wasn't, there was no doubt that purple sucked. What was in doubt was I was trying to negotiate with them and they sucked and then they crossed the line, right? Instead of setting up a deadliest trap, they broke me. All right, now I got to fight this fight, maybe get third. No, fuck you. You're dumb. I'll kill you. Take second. That's how that one goes. Uh, what do we got? We got, I think we stay at GM. Yes, we only lose 100 uh, skill points. Folks, thank you for watching. Stick around on Twitch, but we're done on YouTube. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.